Welcome. In this recording we talk about the PRILS algorithm. This is part of the course Insurance Risk Models. Consider the, the individual risk model. That is the sum of n, small n, n being deterministic, of uh, random variables x's. Here the x's are independent and ident identically distributed. How do you calculate the distribution of s? Well, the distribution function of s will in this case, since the x's are iid, be the nth convolution of the random variable x. So first, this means that the MGF of S will have the following form. So here um, we have the MJF of S, the definition, but since the X's are independent, this is the product of the MGF of the X's. So we have MX of T to the power N. Okay, so now let, let's examine the, the MGF of, uh, of X. Let's play with, the, with it. Here um, we do two assumptions. X is discrete and X has um, a mass at zero. So the probability that X is zero is positive. This is not really a very strong assumption. Um, if x was continuous, we could, you could discretize it and then use uh, this method. So mx of t in that case will be the sum from x equal to 0 to the infinity of the exponential tx times the probability of having that uh, outcome x. Now, we pull out of the sum the first, uh, the first argument. So it's p of 0 times the exponential of t times 0. So this will be p of 0. And what remains is the sum for x from 1 to the infinity of p of x exponential tx. What we do here is that we divide this by 1 minus p of 0 and multiply in front of, uh, of the sum. Why do we do that? We do that because in that case what you have here that we define as p tilde is a new PMF. So these are new probabilities. The sum of them is 1. Uh, the only difference with uh, the p of x, uh, the original one, is that you don't have a mass at 0. So this means here that what you have there is the MGF of a new random variable x tilde, which is the same as, the, uh, as x, except for the fact that you don't have a mass at 0. 
So we can rewrite this as Q plus P times this um, MGF. Here we define Q as P of 0. So let's get back to the MGF uh, of S. We said that the MGF of S is the MGF of X to the power N. So we have here X plus P MX tilde T to the power N. If we were seeing S as a compound distribution, we would know that uh, the distribution of S is the MGF of N evaluated at the log of the MGF of X. And actually here you can recognize something of that form. If N is binomial and X is X tilde. So this, this means that um, this is the MGF of a compound binomial. with the following parameters M is N P is 1 minus P of 0 and the distribution of the losses of the compound binomial is the tilde 1 Okay, so what we'll do is that um, since we have something of the form compound binomial, we can use Pandre, Pandre's recursion, even though we are in the individual risk model. The only uh, the, the, the reason why we can do that is that we can express this problem, uh, this individual risk model, if the x's are IID in the form of, of a compound distribution. Okay. So, um, by definition, the probability that S will be equal to zero, if you get back to uh, to this here, is the probability that each of the X's will be equal to zero. So this is the probability that each of the x's will be equal to zero. This also means that the mass at zero of the nth convolution is equal to this. Remember that uh, the f of s is the same as the nth convolution of x in the individual risk model. So now using Pander on uh, the p tilde axis, y on the p x tilde, because here uh, what we have for s is a compound binomial, but with the with the p tildes. 
So we need to calculate A and B in case of a binomial. So A is 1 is minus P over uh, 1 minus P. Um, P was uh, P of 0. Well, what was 1 minus P of 0, sorry, here. So what we have here is 1 minus P of 0 over P of 0 with a minus in front of it. And the B is M plus 1 times P over 1 minus P. Here, uh, these two expressions there are expressed in, in function of the, the, the usual parameters of a binomial. And now I replace M is N. So we have N plus 1, 1 minus P of 0 over P of 0. Okay. Let's apply now Panger. Panger says that the nth convolution of x, which is uh, the distribution, in other words, the distribution of s uh, at the, 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 yeah, the probability mass of s at the point x, is 1 over 1 plus a, uh, 1 minus a, so here we can put a plus, times the probability that uh, x is 0, but in this case it's 0 because we are using p tilde and p tilde of 0 is 0. So all you have here will actually be equal to 1 because you have 1 over 1 plus 0. And then the sum for the j's from 1 to x of a plus b times j over x and times p tilde of x so that's p of x over 1 minus p of 0 times p star n x minus j. So let's examine this. Um, first you have a 1 over p of 0 that you can pull out of the sum. Then um, you have 1 minus p 0 here and here and then you divide by 1 minus p of 0. So this actually cancels in the sum. So what's, what remains, sorry, here is, well, you have positive minus something. So I keep the sum there and I take this part. So it, uh, it will be n plus 1 times j over x the p of 0 is, is in front of the sum now, minus 1. The p of 0 is in front of the sum. And then p of x, p star n, x, minus j. This recursion needs a starting value that we have calculated at the top of this page, um, here, without using Panger actually. So here you see that surprisingly well is it really surprising but the p tilde x disappeared this recursion here is only and exclusively in function of the p of x, the original ones. Um, so this is surprising in the sense that we have applied Panger on the distribution p tilde, and this just disappears afterwards.
but it's not very surprising um, when you know that here we are calculating the distribution of s and s is the sum of x's not of x's tildes so that in the end the tildes disappear is not really surprising 